Well, I've had several requests from YouTuber Selena Taylor, amazing one, to draw a slice of cake, and here it is. Let's not talk about it. <laughs> let's do it. Let's draw a slice of cake, and let's plan this out a little bit. We'll have, um, we'll make that a kind of parallelogram, and that's the side of the slice of the cake facing you. And this is the top of the cake, which is going to curve around there. So, a bit like a piece of cheese. You're going to want to cut that cake in half to put jam in the middle. And then you're going to want a thickness of um, icing or frosting or whatever on the back. And this will kind of go like that. And you might want to put nuts or hundreds of thousands of things on the top of it. Now, come here and we'll kind of draw that sort of nuts bits some will be sticking up on the top like that and then this will be the kind of frosting around the edge and here where it joins the cake is going to be quite crumbly and the cake will come in slightly there and again we want a crumbly kind of edge like that and coming down here and the jam or whatever you got filling it. Jam, do you call it jam? Jelly. <laughs> Americans call it jelly. In Britain we call we call it jam. And this will be quite crumbly like that. Um, we're gonna have more bits of chopped walnut or whatever they are coming along there like that. And you can put some more in. And they might need a little bit of shading or something like that just to Make them look more obvious. When you are sure it is dry, erase the pencil lines and we can put the jam in quite dark. Jam, jelly. And then the cake itself is going to be very crumbly and spotty, so we can just put in hundreds and hundreds of dots. Obviously, that was speeded up, but it gives a little bit of texture to the whole thing. And we might want to put a light bit of shading on this side of your icing or your frosting or whatever you want to call it. And then we'll put it on the table with a line like that and give it a bit of shading just to really fix it firmly on the table. And there you go, how to draw a slice of cake. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. And if you did, go and see one of my old videos, how to draw a muffin or try the mystery drawing. Either way, make sure you're subscribed and keep coming back to Draw Stuff Real Easy for more and more drawing. In the meantime, keep drawing, drawing, drawing. Practice, practice, practice. And I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye-bye.